Hi everyone, I've got an Aldi haul. We needed some things and I kind of wish we hadn't have gone because they were so busy. <coughs> Today's Sunday. I guess everybody just decided to go out, you know, at the same time or something. They, it was crazy. Uh, they were pretty wiped out on a lot of things and it's just, it was hard to get around. Really, I mean, it, I haven't seen it that busy. It's always pretty busy. I've never seen it that busy, or I have seen it that busy, but it's been a long time. So, I don't know what. It's a nice day out, but it's cold. So, I don't know why everybody decided to get out all at once. <laughs> Parking lot was full, and the buggies, you know, you can tell by how many buggies is, out, is left out there, you know, how busy they are. But, wow. Okay, let's get started. Uh, by the way, the total is 117.06. So we got quite a bit of stuff for that for that amount of money, I think. Um, only mistake I made, and I I wish I, it, it was one of the reasons is because they were so busy and I couldn't hardly get to the flavored waters. I just grabbed one without really looking, and I got the Lacroix brand, which is who makes. I'm sure that's who makes their. Uh, sparkling waters because they're sitting right next to each other a pallet of each but I grabbed this one and this one's way more it's like two dollars more than the other one so I'll go ahead and show that it's Raz Cranberry I mean I'm sure it'll be good and everything like that but I didn't want to pay five dollars and some for it that's for sure uh, so I got some beef shaved steak we're gonna have some fillies uh, one night and I didn't even get the Italian shredded cheese I should have got that. But we were already past the cheese, I guess, when she showed me these. And I just didn't think about it. But I got mozzarella. That will probably work just as well. We'll see. Um, I'm going to have some uh, spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, I think I'm going to have them tonight. Uh, instead of having to freeze the meatballs. I bought some meatballs there. I've never tried them before. So I'm anxious to see how they are. And I got some Texas toast. The garlic Texas toast. Going to have a salad with it. Uh, watch uh, when you get their green onions uh, kind of uh, go through them a little bit because I picked up a pack and uh, I, I said man it doesn't look like there's a, a lot in there uh, it was about it had about half as many as this one so look through them it, obviously some of them have more in them than others you know you want to get as much as you can for your money obviously and we got some of their cucumbers. These are really good. This cucumber one. Uh, we got two of these. Let me see. Yeah. Two of these for dessert tonight. We hadn't had a nice dessert. In a while. Well, Joy made a pie. I, I forgot. She made a coconut pie. Uh, so we have had a good dessert lately. But uh, I got these. We've had them once before. They're really good. They're kind of small, but they're not real expensive. This is the strawberry swirl cheesecake you have to get two obviously for three of us got some milk whole milk oh they were out of my honey honey smoked turkey that i like so much and they were out of the regular turkey in this brand the castlewood um, all they had left was regular ham and uncured honey ham so i got some of the honey ham i don't eat ham that much but i you know i needed some and i thought i would get Go ahead and try this one anyway. So it might be really good. I really wanted that other that turkey. That stuff's great. Um, we don't usually we haven't been getting their garden salads for a while because they're all always floppy and they look like they've been half frozen or something. They just don't look right and they don't feel right. They're just floppy and you know. But this one looked pretty good today, so I got a garden salad. Look how small these peppers are. Wow, they, they were a lot bigger than this the last time we got them. When I went through them, they're, they're all small like that. All of them are. Um, this is for when we have the, we were supposed to have the roasted uh, vegetables and smoked sausage tonight. But uh, we I think we're going to have the uh, spaghetti and meatballs. I haven't had that in real many years. I, I've made them before. They're, they're real good. A biscuit, um, crinkle cut fries. The fries have gone up. 
I got a hummus. It's kind of got scooted around in here. Roasted garlic hummus. We usually get the pine nut, but we just had one of the pine nut, so I thought I would get that one. Uh, Joy wanted to try this, and it's probably really good. Traditional seafood salad. Blend of chunky seafood, imitation crabs, celery, onions, mayonnaise, and spices. So that'll be good on some crackers or something. Let's see. Okay. Um, we got some hot pepper cheese. And this is my favorite cheese there. The smoked cheddar cheese. Oh my gosh, it's so good, y'all. Great on burgers. Another uh, biscuit. The wrapped cheese. We got two of the uh, meat lovers breakfast bowls. Very, very good. And here's the, uh, the meatballs. And I think these were only $3.99, which I feel are pretty reasonable. It's one pound. They're mild Italian. And I think they're, I don't know if they're all pork. They're, I think they mixed, have some pork in them. You know, it doesn't have a, oh, here it is. Pork. Potato. Okay, yeah, they are they are pork, so we'll see how they are. I thought they were probably pork mixed with a uh, hamburger or something, but I, I don't know. They should be good anyway. Oh, I don't think I have, oh, I have some eggs here still. They've got this brand of eggs, Simpson. I don't know why they must be having trouble getting their regular ones. Golden hen or something like that they're called. So I got two of these. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff up real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I forgot to get some salsa. We used most of it last night when I fixed fajitas. Oh, those wraps, we still got three or four of those wraps. So they'll, they'll be enough. I was gonna get some more of them. I was gonna get the spinach, but didn't think about it. It's hard to think of what you need when they're cram packed with people. I mean, and people, they're so funny. They, uh, like this woman over near the, like, yogurt and stuff, you know, it's it's not super wide there, really, anyway. Well, there's one woman up against the coolers, one woman on the right, and then one in the very middle. There's no way anybody could have got past any of them. The one on the right was actually waiting. You know, she could tell she was looking at the freezers, looking like this, you know, so she, she was waiting but she was actually in the way, but I, I, I could see her waiting for them to move. Um, the one on the left, I don't know what she was doing. She kept, uh, uh, she was talking and this and that. She was just in the way. And then the one in the middle, uh, she didn't even, uh, she knew, she had to know there was tons of people behind her, you know, and we were right behind her. And I was like, really? She wouldn't look, she wouldn't look behind her. So she was shopping, left her buggy there at, with two other buggies on each side of her. And then was shopping, looking around, would get something, put it back in her, put it in her buggy, then go go back to the coolers, look at more. And I was like, really? I can't believe this. You know, she just would not look behind her. She, she, you'd have to be, you know, uh, I don't know, somewhere else to think, like you'd have to be in outer space or something to think that, uh, that you know, there's nobody behind her. I don't know if that was a good words for it, outer space. I mean, she was totally oblivious, let's put it that way, to anybody that needed by. And so we stood there, I don't know for how long, minutes, you know, three, three, three to five minutes. I'm not kidding. And um, some people, like, they were getting a little ill behind us. And I, I wasn't going to push her buggy out of the way, and she wouldn't pay attention to anybody. She, like I said, she was in a world of her own. I guess that would be the best way to put it. But, you know, come on. When you're at the, at the grocery store, at least try to be courteous to everybody and, and let people get around you and stuff. She could have moved on, on down a little bit and put her buggy to the right or left and left that lane in the middle for people to get through. There's probably, I don't know, 15 people waiting to get through there. It just jammed up, you know. So, anyway, I got this salsa because I... Uh, the restaurant style, I never have uh, bought this one before. I always buy the bigger jar because it's really good. The, I think it's chunky or something. Um, 
but it was over in the twilight zone aisle you know the one that has all kinds of weird stuff and then you never see it again uh so it was over there and i didn't feel like going all the way back to the start and that's where the regular salsa was you know i just like no i'll just get this um their sourdough bread if you've never tried it is is fantastic uh, it really is and joy wanted some of it she loves sourdough bread i do too and so does logan so we got some of that we're going to have i think tomorrow we're going to excuse me i've been drinking that uh uh, carbonated whatever it is ras cranberry we bought one but see they got that same flavor that's the reason it probably threw me the same flavor in the Belle V that's cheaper and I all I read was the cran raspberry a ras cranberry I, I didn't pay attention to the name of which one it was it's like obviously LaCroix like I, I should have got the other one but deli rolls that's for the Philly steaks couple tomatoes and I've already got one of these apples out for Logan he wanted one granny Smith apples they got the biggest uh, granny Smith so nice and big Let's see I think we got some at Walmart or something or Krogery the one they were just real small got some oops, some wipes um, I got these to try on Logan's show one night. Um, we've never got these from there. They're kettle chips, sea salt, and vinegar. That'll be one night on his show. And I got, I think we got, we got these for Logan. I think the caramel rice snacks. They're not bad for you at all. Something good to snack on. And we didn't really like the price of this too good. But I've been wanting to try this. I know Logan has. Uh, we're going to try this um, probably uh, tonight on his show, which his show will come out before this video. This is going to come out in several days. I got other ones that I haven't done yet. The Dollar General uh, haul and uh, one more drive with us and out and about. But anyway, this is what we got. The Werther's Original Cold Popcorn. Boy, that's a small bag for three bucks. I mean, I just wanted to try it. Got um, sea salt and caramel, two of them. Um, got lemonade. I don't know if I showed this one too. Cranberry, pure aqua cran cranberry flavored water beverage. And then this one is lemonade. Is it for Logan? Keep knocking the phone around. Okay. Got a little bag of limes. Great in water. I like them better than lemon. Yeah. And then got some of their Swiss rolls, the Baker's Treat Swiss rolls. And they're pretty good. They, they taste just like Little Debbie. They probably make them for them. Because they got Little Debbie oatmeal cakes in there. So that'd be the only reason to have them is if they made something for them. Okay, so I got three cases of water as well. And so the waters were $3.29. The breakfast bowls were uh, $1.99. That's not bad. Flavored beverages, the ones I just showed you, 79 cents each. Baby carrots, $1.29. Beefsteak tomatoes, $2.45. Uh, Pepper Jack, $1.89. Cheesecake twin packs $1.79. That's not too bad, really, for them. Cheesecake's high. The hummus was $2.49. Shaved beef steak, a great buy, I think, at $5.49. It's like $7.99 at uh, Kroger. I've never looked for it at Walmart. Crinkle cut potatoes, they're more than they used to be, but $2.79 is better than Kroger's $3.49 for theirs. Uh, so $2.79 is not too bad. Garlic cheese to or garlic toast two nineteen. They got like a four cheese one or something like that or five cheese or something. I almost got it. Uh, smoked deli slices the cheese two forty nine. Whole milk a dollar sixty seven. Uh, baby wipes four sixty nine. That's a good price on them. Uh, green peppers a dollar eighty nine. 
the meatballs, three ninety nine. I think that's a pretty good buy since it's a it weighs a pound. The sliced sourdough, three sixty nine. The deli rolls, two forty five. Green onions, eighty five cents. Werner's popcorn, two ninety eight. Uh, cheese singles, a dollar eighty nine. Rice snacks, two ninety nine. Kettle chips, a dollar ninety five. Garden salad, a dollar seventy five. Cucumbers $1.89. Seafood salad $4.29. We got some townhouse or whatever they're called. Crackers. I think that's what they're called. One of those. It's just like, you know, keyboard or something. I can't remember. Uh, we got a, a Bellevue uh, canned drink. Uh, 99 cents. Uh, chocolate bars were $1.99. Honey ham $5.49. That's a pound. Limes two forty five, Granny Smith apples two ninety nine. That's not bad. Swiss rolls a dollar eighty five. The Lacroix drinks five twenty nine. It's like three forty five or three sixty five for the others. I wish I'd have paid attention. Uh, Jumbo flaky biscuits a dollar seventy five. The salsa two fifty five. Eggs are getting a little higher again. Dollar ninety one for twelve eggs. You know, for twelve a dozen. So. Anyway, that's it, everybody. Uh, total was 117.06. Not bad for what, what all we got. Um, wow. I, I can't figure out why everybody was out today like that. Um, they, like I said, they're always pretty busy, but this was unbelievably busy today. So, anyway, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this Aldi haul. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later on. God bless.